In this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Air Slim Pack, part of their work collection. Head over to packhacker.com for the full review, including photos of this bag on us, the Pack Hacker team. Let's dive in and check it out. So kicking it off here, we have nice padding on the side handle here, and that's echoed on the top as well. The rest of it is pretty clean in general. You have this weather resistant fabric here at the front. Um, really no room for water bottle pockets because it is so slim. There's a luggage pass through on the back here. No real back panel uh, to speak of in terms of there's no foam here or mesh, breathable mesh, uh, but it functions you know, pretty well. It's just kind of a nice little small pack. Uh, we've got mesh here on the shoulder straps though, so that's gonna help with some additional airflow. I did find this harness system to be a little bit stiff and we, a lot of different people of different body types and the team tried it on as well and we kind of couldn't quite get it right on any of our bodies. We'll get into more of that on the full review on packhacker.com so make sure to check that out. But it's kind of a recurring pattern we've seen with the work collection. So these are a little bit stiff and then we've actually been getting this thing we like to call hover back, which is especially with the laptop in, it's kind of hard to figure out. There is no curve really at all to this. It's kind of feels like a bit of a brick on your back. And if you have it tightened up on the top, it kind of hovers off of your back. Um, but if you have it looser, it just sags down low. So, um, I mean, overall, it's a pretty comfy pack to wear, but it's just, it's felt a little bit odd uh, on most of us on the team. We really dove into that. So make sure to go check out the review on the website for more details on that. This is just kind of a video walkthrough. So kicking it off with the pockets inside the pack on the top here, we have this really nice little quick grab pocket towards the top. Just got my sunglasses, keys in there. Got a Tom Bin mask in there as well. Set those off to the side. I really love this pocket. It's got this really soft, kind of cushy interior. It just feels really good in the hand. The first time I felt this material from Air was on their capsule pack, and I think it's a really great choice. It's actually one of the best feeling fabrics for these soft areas that I've seen on bags. Lay flat YKK zipper uh, that just looks nice, you know, right flat against the pack. I think this pack has a nice minimal aesthetic. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, let's just open it right up. I guess on the harness system, we didn't really talk about the strap adjusters, but there are some elastic strap keepers as well, uh, which is just a nice thing to have. Um, and then just, you know, pretty ordinary adjusters. So nothing too crazy going on there. Luggage pass through too here on the back. So if you have roller luggage, pass it through. Opening up that main compartment here, it opens up kind of two thirds of the way down, horseshoe style, so I think that's a great opening for this kind of bag. And inside there's a ton of organization and I think this has been you know, pretty much the perfect amount for me. A lot of the times I use little pouches when I'm switching in and out of bags, but just using the organization on this bag just felt really good. So up here we've got like a document sleeve. I suppose you could put a tablet in there as well if you wanted. And then this is pretty similar to what Air offers in a lot of their other bags. So I think the organization is just right. I've got this spot on the top here. I've just been storing uh, tech gear in here. Like I've got a dongle, outlet splitter, Apple Magic Mouse in there. That zips up nice. I will say that you gotta be a little strategic. You kinda wanna make sure that you got, you pack in layers of, of, of flat. So I personally love the Magic Mouse, um, you know, Mark on our team, he uses like a really big Logitech with one of those balls on it. And uh, that probably wouldn't work as well in here. So it's gonna depend on how thick and how big your tech items are. If you're already running pretty minimal and pretty small, um, it's good here, but it's gonna bulk out if, it, if you get too many bulky items in. I mean, look at how skinny the pack is, right? It's so thin compared to a lot of other bags, which I personally love, but your mileage may vary. Down here, you know, I've just been in this little mesh kind of stretchy pocket. I've got just a couple other uh, dongles as well. I got my trusty spork down there. Uh, put a pen inside of this little pen pocket. Field notes here along with my Tom Bin Ghost Whale pouch where I keep my extra headphones in case I'm on a video call and my, uh, my Bluetooth headphones die. And then yeah, I mean you've got, you've got a main compartment here which like I've stuffed a sweatshirt in there. It starts bulking out a lot though if you kind of stuff it full. So, you know, not a ton of room at the bottom. And I think, again, that's like the beauty of this pack. Now if you have this stuff all bulked out and filled up, it can kind of obstruct you know, your access to, to down here, but I, I haven't really minded it, it's fine. Got my roost stand here on the side, so that's what I've been carrying around with me. 
uh, keyboard here and inside of a neoprene case. That's in, inside of this little sleeve that's probably meant for a tablet. And then I've got my laptop in the back here. So one of the things that I like about this laptop compartment, I'm just gonna set that to the side right now. Just get it out of the shot actually for you. I'll leave the pack hacker sticker in there so you can see it. Our, our pros get those. Um, same material on the back here. Uh, really soft, spongy, and I just really, really dig it. Um, you know, there is a, a slight false bottom here as well. It's nothing too crazy. So your laptop, it doesn't go directly to the bottom of the bag. There's a tiny bit of hover, but I mean, honestly, not a ton of protection there. Um, but the laptop, it's skinny enough here on the top to where you can easily kind of fold this down and get your laptop out. Um, but, you know, some bags will curve the zipper up towards the back so you can get really quick, seamless access. Um, and others will, like on the Mystery Ranch Rip Ruck, which I just was testing last week, it's got a little indent here. And this kind of like folds down easy and gives you access to your laptop. But access wise, you know, it's quick enough. And I'll just demonstrate that now. Toss that in. There you go. Right back in. So there you have it. That was the detailed look at the Air Slim Pack. Check out packhacker.com for more details, including photos, the best buying options, and uh, the full review over on our website. Link down below. We'll see you in the next video.